Hi there. Thank you for clicking on my video, and I hope you'll like it. And of course, I hope it'll help you. In today's video, let us learn what a linear search is. What do you think is the importance of a search? Searches in C are of two types. One is linear search, and the other is binary search. We learn about a linear search in detail in this video. About binary search, you can sit browse for my other video. Just like how we have done searching in arrays using a simple technique, we'll use the same here in a linear search. For a simple example, let us consider an integer array A of 5 with 5 elements in it and um, let the elements be 3, 5, 9, 8, and 16. Now, what is a linear search? Just like a simple search, a linear search is the one where we start with the beginning element and we check for the required element entered by the user and keep incrementing the uh, array index value. Let us see how it's done. Suppose the user has mentioned the array elements as 3, 5, 9, 8, and 16. Now, he is asking us where is the element 8 stored in the array. We can find this out by using the linear search. As the value entered by the user is 8, the computer must check from the starting element of the array, that is a of 0, that is 3. Is 3 equal to 8? No. So it goes to the next element. Is 5 equal to 8? No. Is 9? No. So finally it reaches to a of 3. Is 8 equal to 8? Yes. Bingo. So it must return us with the index with the position of the number entered by the user. The user wanted the number 8 and 8 is present in the fourth location of the array that is A of 3. Not to forget the array starts with A of 0. Now that the computer has found out where the position of the number wanted by the user is it must return us the value. Now let us write a simple logic just to uh, get the value and it's just the core logic it's not the entire program I'm gonna write it's gonna be something like this if x equal to equal to 8 8 is the value entered by the user while oh okay if you if you scanning the value entered by the user say you have scanned the value entered by the user into a variable called y then you can you're supposed to write if x equal to equal to y fine i hope you're getting me okay so if x equal to equal to y we the printf percentile d what's the position of uh, is the fourth position so it's gonna be i plus one if we have declared the array a of i now to get a clear concept of this what just see the entire program just a glance just have a glance there we are see just have a look at the program this this is the header file inclusion then starts with the main declaring of the array and then the element to be searched is scanned into the variable named y i is just a variable which is initially declared zero and is incremented every time we need a for loop here and this is the core logic by the way that's it now it returns us the value where the uh, it returns us the position where our required element is present this question might come to you when do we use the linear search and when the binary search the answer is simple the linear search might be easier to program, but the binary search is more efficient as 
even a millisecond counts a lot to the computer. So as much as possible, we use the binary search. Thanks for watching. I hope it served your purpose. Thank you.